Assalamu alaikum. <coughs> so today we uh, went to a sale in Stanwood, a retirement sale. And they had a lot of stuff. As you can see, there's just a ton of stuff here. We have 14 teams of horses for sale. Um, family cow, freshens in two months, shorthorn heifer, Jersey bull, Angus with calves, red Angus beef cows, <clears throat> lots of farm machinery. I would say the farm machinery uh, was all in really good condition. It was well oiled. It had all been kept inside. It was in working order. They had everything, all the hay equipment, hay rakes, mowers, hay loaders, a couple hay wagons. Um, they had several uh, like trash pump type uh, irrigation pumps that that ran their Honda engines on them um, I'm trying to think of what else they had they sold a single buggy they had a, a sled horse John sleigh type thing um, he had a bulk tank some push real push mowers um, and just tool tons and tons of uh, hand tools like maybe four or five hay wagon loads of hand tools shovels rakes saws um, pitchforks and it was they were going cheap like all the hand tools I thought went pretty cheap like you know you could get a box of hand saws for five dollars and you know pitchfork you could get a fifteen twenty dollars for a pitchfork it was just um, crowbars and and um, oh the spears for fishing um, all that type of stuff, block and tackle, pulleys, ropes, um, hardware, nails, screws, and bolts, um, belts, uh, all that stuff, you name it, it was just going cheap, but it was super cold and super windy, and so I, like, I got tired of standing out there, actually, I went and sat in the truck with the driver for like half an hour or so, and finally they got to the household stuff, um, <clears throat> And the household stuff, um, the three three burner oil stove, and actually I think it was more than a three burner. It was like a maybe a four burner oil stove. Um, it did not have the kerosene tank that you fill up with the kerosene and then put in the little thing. Um, that was missing. <clears throat> but they did have a box of replacement wicks for it and um it, it was an older stove you could tell it was an older an older model they asked the lady of the house if it worked and she said she didn't know if it worked and that they hadn't used it in a really long time and so that that uh oil stove brought one dollar um they had a couple of nice cedar chests. They were older on the outside. They were <clears throat> a little bit scratched up, but they were in pretty decent shape. Inside was real nice. Um, they probably brought around $60. I think one of them brought around $150. Um, China Hutch the dry sink. I can't remember what the China Hutch brought. They didn't bring a lot though. I think like around $150. Um, the dry sink uh, that brought 300 bucks and that was the wooden type without the some of them the newer ones they make like with a stainless steel top countertop so this was would have been the the older style where it's all wood and just highly varnished um, the wardrobe brought 150 uh, 
I think the Hickory Rocker, it was an older one. It was stained dark, like a dark cherry color. And it had a dark brown cushion on it. That brought around, um, <clears throat> I think that brought close to $200 as well. Um, they had a lot of miscellaneous different things. They didn't have a lot of oil lamps. I this to me this paper kind of false advertised. The real reason I went to this sale is because they had advertised fence posts and wires and fencing equipment. And I could not find any fence posts at all. They didn't have any kind of fence posts at all. So I that's the main reason I went because I wanted to extend my goat pen this summer and I thought if I could buy a large quantity of T-post reasonable that would be probably the cheapest and easiest way to extend it but unfortunately they did not have any fence posts at all so that was a disappointment I didn't really buy a lot um, they probably had five oil lamps they had a lot of sleds the old school wooden sleds with the little lever on the front that you turn to steer they probably had maybe 10 of them and they probably bought around 60 60 bucks each i think the last three probably bought 25 they just threw them together in a pile um they had tons of glassware and dishes i mean they probably had 150 set different sets of dishes in different colors they had candy dishes with the old colored glass um, and all that stuff went cheap. The dishes probably averaged five dollars a stack. Some of them brought less than that, like two dollars or a dollar a stack. They had, you know, big boxes full of coffee mugs and a lot of stainless steel cookware, um, pots and mixing pans and bowls. Um, they did have a chest, an ice, what they would call an ice box, but actually what it is is an old chest freezer that no longer works. And they put a, <clears throat> they put a um, drain in it, like a piece of, piece of PVC and a drain, so you could easily drain the water out of out of the bottom of it, and had all the baskets in the top to put your food in it, and that brought around uh, two hundred dollars. I didn't watch about the farm equipment sell because it was really cold. It was probably I don't think it got above 40 if that and it was really windy so i had two coats on a t-shirt and a long sleeve shirt and a heavy insulated coat and it was still freezing like i stayed in the tent where the household stuff was that was the warmest place everything else was outside in the field and it was really super windy but anyways this is what i got um i spent 50 bucks on all this stuff here 20 I think it was 20 on the lamps there's a set here I love these kind with the handles and then there was a crystal lamp all of them she said all the lamps work well um, it's got some nice heavy-duty heads on it and they're in good shape the spinner isn't you know bad um, yeah, this popcorn popper went for twenty dollars. Normally these are um, forty-five, is what I saw new last on these. Um, and I think my sister actually wanted this, so that's where that's gonna go. She pay for that. And then I got this gas iron. She said also that the gas iron works well. Um, these brand new are around. 250 so I paid $17 for this let's see if it works it had everything it's got the little air pumps in there you got your stand to set it on when it's hot you got all your instruction manuals um, she said it works so we'll see yeah, that'll be fun to try out definitely an antique And if it doesn't work for $17, I guess 
like maybe I could fix it. I know sometimes the generator goes bad and then you have to replace that, which isn't really that hard. But if it's something other than that, it's probably going to be out of my knowledge of how to fix it. But I may be able to find somebody who would be willing to get it working if it doesn't work. We'll see. They claim it works, so hopefully it does. That is what I got. said I spent 50 bucks um, so hopefully that was interesting and here's a little bit of video footage they got of the sale on the way there Let them wait for us. 